Hundreds of Kentucky National Guard troops are headed to hospitals across the Commonwealth as rapid spread of the virus strains health care facilities. Evelyn Schultz joins us now in the studio this morning with the very latest on the pandemic here in Kentucky, including the impact it's having on our schools. She joins us with this COVID-19 in Kentucky coverage. Evelyn. Dia Chris, good morning. Hospitals are grappling with an influx of COVID patients and staffing issues. Around one third of facilities are reporting critical staffing shortages and only 134 ICU beds remain open in the state. To help, nearly 450 Kentucky National Guard troops will head out to 30 health care facilities all across the Commonwealth. And it's not just hospitals. Schools in the region are also making tough decisions because of staffing problems. Jefferson County public schools switched to remote learning this week. Cincinnati public schools going remote for nearly two weeks. State leaders say universal masking is necessary in schools, but at a school board meeting in Scott County just last night, it's evident many parents don't agree. Stop operating out of fear and start leading our school community back to the normal school experience our kids deserve. We are seeing too much to stop masking. It's about like deciding that you want to go swimming really bad and deciding you're going to keep swimming even though you're in the middle of a lightning storm. After the debate, school board members voted to keep Scott County Public Schools mask mandate in place. Keep in mind, new K through 12 guidance says if a school requires universal masking, contact tracing and quarantines for at school exposures are not necessary. Other schools in our area are also seeing COVID cases spike. How are districts dealing with a rise in cases? Uh, Chris, more than 800 students are in quarantine in Fayette County currently, but so far schools are staying open. In Gallatin County, however, schools will be closed the rest of the week because of staff absences related to COVID and other illnesses. And in Oldham County, school board members have reinstated a mask mandate there. Schultz live in studio this morning. Evelyn, thank you.